The year is timeless. It had been said by some the human race had not come anywhere in 100 years, which in itself was a half-truth. The race had come a long way, but with each progressive stride, a stagger of irresponsibility toward one's fellow man and woman, selfishness of the arcane human nature, and undeniable confusion, all intertwined to make every progressive step shorter. Such was life when humans lived entirely in the present, ignoring the past and forgetting about the future. Seemingly, the only constant had come in the form of an independent faction called the Space Force, who not only remembered the future, but lived for it. Forty years in the making, patiently they waited while swaying public opinion away from the norms of political structure. Their quiet efficiency mirrored systematic elimination for any opposition until the so-called competition posed no further threat. Promises were kept not due to the credit of pathetic political parties who would eventually self-destruct, as expected, because constant gridlock actually wound up canceling them out. Yes, promises were kept, not after heavy, drawn-out legislation, but daily, mere minutes after having been made. Through simple practices of unflinchingly honest diplomacy, the Space Force had won over the mainstream majority and left. In the wake of conservatism and liberalism's death, an all-new order of militaristic power. They possessed a stranglehold on the Lady Earth, as well as the planet Earth's dwindling resources. Leaders of the now not-so-free world feared the Space Force's unrivaled power. Those in support lived and flourished. Others who wanted their power to be more in check were crushed and phased out the equation through a wildly successful propaganda campaign, plus the latest in stealthy, destructive peacekeeping technology. Was it brainwashing? No, and no more than anything else. The remaining nations of the planet converged under one and peace ultimately ensued. An outside omniscient observer might ask, how or why? Could or would something like this ever happen? The answer, ideally humans have the ability to question faith, but reality dictates they should not. May the space force always be so benevolent and merciful. Leave it at that.